Today's video is all about the Wisecam V4. I have had Wisecams for years and the V4 is their newest iteration of it. It's literally like 35 bucks. Link down below if you wanna pick it up. And it's an indoor outdoor camera. It is a wired camera, meaning you need to have it plugged in to a power source. Connects wirelessly to your Wi-Fi. I'm gonna tell you everything I like and don't like about it. But first, let's get into the unboxing and setup. All right, here they are, Wisecam. V4 version four, they go for $29.99 currently. Here's the two colors, white and like this grayish black color. So we're gonna unbox these, I'll show you both of them and we'll go through them. All right, so here is the new Wise camera, it's the white one. You see you got the plug-in on the back here which is micro USB still. It's surprising they haven't jumped over to USB-C. Here's the legs that come up. You can see at the bottom, that's where you can put the micro SD card for extra storage. And then on the other side, you have your setup button that you'll press and hold. You'll get their trusty mounting plate and adhesive, some mounting screws, micro USB cable and charging brick, and their quick start guide. Wise did send me a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, and this is what theirs looks like. Cool thing about the gray one is that everything from the charging brick to the charging cable, to the camera, all come in this you know charcoal black look to it. Here's what the two cameras look side by side, black and white or gray and white, whatever you wanna call this color. Setup is pretty easy. Grab the camera, grab the micro USB side of the cable and plug these two into each other. And then grab the USB, plug it into the charging brick and then plug this into the wall. Download the Wise app if you haven't already and create an account or log into your account. All right, since I'm kind of on a beta thing with them because these cameras really aren't officially out, I have to set it up through my iPhone. It's not setting up on my Android currently. When you get it, it will though. So hit your plus sign, add device, cameras, Wise Cam V4, hit next, and now we're gonna press that button on the camera at the bottom, the setup button. And we heard that button, so we're gonna hit begin setup. It's searching for the device. All right, I gotta choose my Wi-Fi network and connect to it. It's connecting. All right, great, now I'm just gonna give it a name. And then I'm just gonna use the basic on here. Hit continue, but you can choose a cloud. Hit, con hit confirm. I'm gonna hit skip. Finish, next, complete. And there is a firmware update, so I'm gonna hit update now. And it's gonna do its update, and I'll see you on the other side walking you through the app for these cameras. I wanted to go through the app and here we go. You're gonna see just this. If you have a bunch of Wise products, you'll you'll see them, but ultimately you see my two cameras right here, my two Wise cameras. If I wanna view them, I'll just tap on this one and it goes instantly to a live view and I can zoom in. I can see that says happy whatever. I don't know what my son wrote there. I can see the television in the background. Um, so I can see some stuff here. You also, if you have an SD card, you can tap on SD card and view the events that the it, it recorded and it will play for you. So that's pretty cool. 
You also have, oh, let me go back in there. Then we have a record button so I can record what I see. I can do smart focus, which smart focus is in beta and it's gonna focus on certain things. You can do a siren. I can look at my album. I can do a time lapse. And when I click on time lapse, I have to set a start and an interval in order to make this. Uh, so it doesn't do it automatically. It's something you have to do. You can turn the camera off. You can hit the gear in the top right. And when I do that, I can change the name of the camera. I can go to detection settings and you can change the detection sensitivity, higher or lower detection zones. Motion tagging, that's gonna be, and I'll show you that in a minute, but that's gonna, it puts a little square around the person who's walking. It's a little bit of annoying, but it does make it easier to find uh, who's walking. You have motion warnings. You can turn those, you can do a wise tone or you be, or you can let the person there being recorded. This is a good thing to have if like you are having a camera outside and you want it to alert them. Next, we have notifications. You can have notifications or you can manage certain events so it only sh shows certain notifications, so that can be a lot more helpful and less annoying with your notifications. Alarm settings, you have a smoke alarm sound and a CO, CO alarm sound. So when the camera detects the standard T3 or T4 alarm sounds, it doesn't. it's not that the camera has built <clears throat> those <clears throat> sensors built in, it just knows those sounds that it'll alert you if you're not, if you're not there and it'll you know alert you through your notifications. Spotlight settings, so you can turn on a spotlight, have it be low or high. <clears throat> and I'll show you that in a moment when I go down and just show you some of the sounds for that stuff. Activate your camera when it detects motion, you can turn that on or off. Lights off the camera, you can set a schedule for the lighting as well. Advanced settings, this is where you can manage your SD card, you can have it continuously record or just do events only. Night vision mode, I have it set to auto. Night vision conditions, you can see I set it to dark or dusk. Night vision, camera sight, rotate image 180. You can show timestamps or turn that off. Turn off the WISE logo if you want when it records an event. There's accessories, you can get, you can get a lamp socket. <clears throat> you can see you got you can set rules if you want like if this then that you can share this camera restart it reset it delete it if you want to view any events on the home page of the app just go down to events at the bottom here and you can watch any event that has happened so maybe i want to watch this event right here i'll tap on it and this is recorded from the cloud i can zoom in with what's happening that's how much i can see pretty clear, especially if you have light. Here's another one, still kind of much doing the same thing. Go down a little bit here. Here's a little bit darker. Here's me uh, walking up the stairs. And you see that little green square? You can turn that on or off. That's kind of the motion tagging. Here's one with my dog going down, actually both of my dogs running down the stairs. And see, pretty cool. It's pretty good. You can kind of see what's going on. Not too bad at all. If you want to do a firmware update on the main page, go to account and then go towards the bottom and you will see firmware updates. Just tap that and that'll show firmware updates available for any of your devices. You can see I have one for my some of my lights here. And you set update. So if you had any updates, you can update them all right here. Now, as you know, you can insert a micro SD card into the camera and capture footage that is been recorded to the camera. And that is completely free, but you obviously would either have to purchase or use a micro SD card you have. Otherwise, there's a good probability that if you're going to want to capture any kind of video and not just the free still shots that this would capture, you're going to want to get their Cam Plus plan. Their Cam Plus plan is the following, you can see it's $2.99 per month per camera, or you can get an annual plan for $20 for the entire year. They have the monthly unlimited plan, which is $9.99 per month for as many cameras as you have, or you can do the un annual unlimited plan, which again is unlimited cameras, and it's $99 per year. So it's not a bad value when you figure how much footage it's actually capturing and uploading to the cloud. It makes sense. 
And also with Cam Plus, you get package detection, person detection, pet detection, car detection, and event video. All right, final thoughts about the Wise Cam V4. So I think with the quality of the video, it's good. It's not amazing. I know it says like 2K or 2.5K resolution, but I'm not completely blown away by the quality of the video. I mean, when you factor in, it's like 35 bucks and how good it looks. All right, yeah, sure, it looks really good. I just, I don't think it looks absolutely amazing. I do love that you can put a micro SD card inside of the camera and store it and not have to pay any extra cost. But at the same time, using the app and going into and finding your footage with that, I mean, it's easy to find. It just doesn't always load up great for me at least. Um, I'm not completely blown away using the camera like that. I think it's best used when you sign up for Cam Plus. And Cam Plus, when you have multiple cameras, you know, it's, it's no more than a hundred bucks a year, which let's be honest, to be able to protect your family and have all of that, that's pretty amazing. But it is something to know that you buy these cameras and you get Cam Plus, you're going to have an extra cost that's always there. But to be fair, almost all security cameras at this point have extra costs. I love all the features in this camera. Like I said, it has the micro SD card slot. It has uh, night vision, has color night vision. It has uh, two-way audio, meaning you can talk to them, they can talk to you. It has the microphones built into there and the microphone pick up the audio pretty good. Again, not completely blown away by it, but it does a pretty good job with it. I love you can use this indoor or outdoor, um, especially if you could have a way of hiding that power cord and plug it in somewhere like you know you just run the cable outside your window or something like that or feed it out make a hole somewhere so that you can keep the 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 power plugged in indoors and keep that safe from the elements but keep the camera outdoors i love i love that um it's small it's something we're used to it had the design hasn't really changed all that much but otherwise you know it's it's a solid camera um it's not going to be the best at anything, really. It's kind of in the middle of the road in terms of quality and has a bunch of features and the price is good. So um, I would say, you know, it's, it's it's almost one of those devices that you buy and you don't feel like you invested a ton of money. If you don't like it, return it. Or if you keep it for a year and you don't like it, you only lost 35 bucks plus whatever the cost of the cloud membership is if you even did that. So there you guys go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you down the road. Peace.